Hi, in this video I'm looking at this question here, calculating the length of the unknown side of this triangle below. So we have a right angled triangle and we know two, the two shorter sides of the right angled triangle and we don't know the hypotenuse. Because I know two sides and I'm looking at finding the length of the hypotenuse, I'm thinking of using Pythagoras' theorem. Pythagoras' theorem states that if I take my two short sides, which are typically labelled A and B, and if I square them, so if I have A squared, and if I have B squared, and if I add those two together, then that will give me the length of the third side, which we usually call C, squared. So by squaring the two shorter sides and adding them together, we can obtain the square of the hypotenuse. This can help us by filling this information in and then solving for C. So let's do that. So let's put in A. A is 1.2 meters, so we're going to have 1.2 squared. Adding on B, which is 1.6 meters, so 1.6 squared, and that gives us C squared. Now we can work out the squares, so 1.2 squared, 1.2 squared is the same as being 1.2 times 1.2 and that gives us 1.44 so we can have 1.44 adding on 1.6 squared 1.6 squared is the same as 1.6 times 1.6 which is 2.56 so we know 1.44 plus 2.56 and that is the same as c squared now we can add those two together. 1.44 plus 2.56 is simply 4, is c squared. Now we want c, not c squared. So what we're going to do is do the opposite of squaring. Now the opposite of squaring is square rooting. So we're going to take the square root of 4, and that's going to give us c. And now we can write our answer. The side length c, our hypotenuse, is going to be 2 and we have units in meters, so two meters. And that's it. By using our Pythagoras' rules, c squared equals a squared plus b squared, or a squared plus b squared equals c squared, we can work out the length of our hypotenuse.